Fox News is next. Presented by Capital Tire Service in downtown Cleveland. This is a Fox News alert. I'm Chris Foster. Divers are looking for up to seven people in the water after the collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore, hit by a container ship on its way to Sri Lanka after two days in port. It would have made landing in about 22 days. Clearly, it stopped right here in the Patapsco River, striking that bridge and bringing it down really in what was an incredible collapse. Now, on the Onwick with Fox 5 DC, the bridge is a mile and a half long along Interstate 695. The Supreme Court hears arguments today about limiting access to the abortion drug mifepristone. Dr. Christina Francis is head of a pro-life doctors association. This is about taking care of our patients. It's not about whether someone is pro-life or not pro-life. The Food and Drug Administration approved the drug in 2000, expanding access in the years since. It is independent. It uses science. White House spokesman Queen Jean-Pierre, the Supreme Court first has to decide if the doctors have shown they have been harmed by having to treat patients who've taken Mifepristone. America's listening to Fox News. The news is sponsored by Lee University, where you can expect something great. The Mix 1041 News Desk, brought to you by Logan Thompson Law, a tradition of legal and community service. That's Logan Thompson Law at LoganThompsonLaw.com. Southern Heritage Bank can help your dreams about a new home come true. There are a lot of banks, so what makes Southern Heritage Bank unique? It's our commitment to being unbelievably good as we identify and meet your needs. Stop by one of our five locations in Cleveland or Chattanooga and let us show you the difference our customers have come to expect. We strive to offer the latest banking technology, mobile wallet, online account opening, mobile banking with bill pay, and ATMs that allow cash or check deposit. All available 24-7 with a local community bank. Southern Heritage Bank, a division of First Citizens National Bank, member FDIC. Thank uh, to everyone. It's 1041 uh, local and state news from the Logan Thompson Law News Desk. Uh, we also are on uh, Mix 1041. We're on uh, Talk 1013, The Buzz, and we're on MixTV.TV at 703. And Bridget, uh, everyone uh, still thinking about and... Uh, talking about and praying for the Bradley County Sheriff uh, Steve Lawson. And we did receive an update from the family this morning. It says that the sheriff is improving daily and that his neck and back should heal over time. And that's good news. I know you spoke with Connie this morning. Yeah, that's right. So glad to hear of all the great news from the family and so glad that he continues to improve. And uh, we pray for a speedy recovery. We certainly do, and again, uh, the report uh, uh, in this morning to us is that uh, the sheriff is improving uh, daily, and again, uh, uh, we're told uh, from a family spokesman that his neck and back should heal over time, and so uh, there, there, there is that report. Just continue to pray for Steve and Connie. Uh, let me uh, get to the news, and a major headline uh, came out of the Cleveland City Council meeting, and, and really one of the finest men we know Vice Mayor Avery Johnson of the Cleveland City Council said he will retire following the May meeting, uh, after, excuse me, after the second meeting in May. He has been uh, the Vice Mayor of Cleveland for the past 22 years, and we'll have a chance uh, to mark that and to, uh, to get into more on that, but uh, Vice Mayor Avery Johnson made that announcement during uh, our coverage of the Cleveland City Council meeting. You can go back and watch that uh, at uh, mixtv.tv. But Avery is a wonderful, wonderful man. And um, we really appreciate his service. Like I said, we'll be able to get into more detail uh, as we get close to that meeting. We'll definitely have Avery back in and uh, talk with him about his time on the Cleveland City Council. Avery Johnson says he will retire from the Cleveland City Council following their second meeting in May. All right, also, uh, lots happened at the uh, Cleveland City Council yesterday. Uh, Mayor Brooks uh, presented a proclamation recognizing Cleveland <clears throat> as the Hot Slaw capital of the state and the upcoming Hot Slaw and Art Y'all Festival, April 6th, in downtown Cleveland. City Manager Joe Fivas gave an update on several projects and items, a ribbon cutting, for the latest latest leg of the uh, Cleveland Greenway will be uh, later this month, March 28th, at the trailhead on Candy's Lane. Uh, citizens uh, will have uh, now have about 2.6 miles of continuous walking in the Candy's Lane area. 
Also, city manager Fivas received approval from the Department of Transportation to bring the Greenway up and under I-75. Now, Bridget, remember what they told you. When you're on the Greenway around I-75, you need to go on I-70, I think. Oh, no. That's what city no. manager Fivas told me to tell you. I didn't <laughs> no, know if you heard. That's not safe. The section of, <laughs> of <laughs> Has that ever stopped you before? <laughs> Eventually, uh, <clears throat> is this news and comment? What's no, going on here? No. Eventually, that section of Greenway will connect with Fletcher Park once the project is complete. Uh, let's see here. Uh, more now. The city's moving forward to the bidding process for the Peerless Road Paula intersection. Five has said that Paula Parkway will be entirely paved by this summer. Edmond Street Project still making good uh, progress. Uh, the uh, City Council voted unanimously to approve an agreement with Cleveland High School to allow the school to use the Tensley Park tennis courts for tennis team practice. Let's see here. Uh, lots of stuff happened uh, yesterday. And uh, we'll, uh, again, you can watch the full, uh, actually, both Cleveland City Council meetings. Thanks to uh, Gideon Ratcliffe, who covered that for us as usual. Does a great job. MixTV.TV. The Bradley County Commission met last night. Third District Commissioner Finance Chairman Mylon Blake announced the Finance Committee will meet Monday to start the budget review process. Uh, also, First District Bradley County Commissioner Mike Hughes commented on a vote at last week's meeting to table a resolution authorizing the mayor to negotiate a written agreement with the city on a, uh, on a property exchange. Hughes clarified he made the motion for several reasons, including letting the fire committee also, the Building and Land Committee fully considered the matter and the options. He said the committees met earlier Monday and proposed the Menace Road site <clears throat> for a new fire garage and voted to recommend taking his resolution from last week's meeting off the table. Instead, the committees voted to recommend that Bradley County exchange the Inman Street Fire and Rescue Facility to the city if the city agrees to build the new fire facility for the county on Menace Road. And that was added to the April 1st meeting agenda. That is news at this moment. More news on our website, mymix1041.com. Two very impactful local government meetings yesterday. You can count on us to cover all of those meetings, including our uh, city and county school boards uh, and all of their meetings. You can do that and watch those meetings at mixtv.tv. We have a very dedicated group of people who cover those meetings for you and all of us, the public. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Thank him. Bless you. Bless <laughs> no, <him>. thank you. <laughs> Are you going to be in the choir at Mount Olive on Easter? Yes, I've, there's of There's a course. petition started. Uh, oh. No. Maybe. Yes. I want you to Mind skip to out there? on uh, Well, they told you, of course, that they're only performing on uh, <laughs> Monday, Thursday. and <laughs> so. Uh, well, I'll be you, there for that, too. Hope you enjoy that. <laughs> okay. Well, they've canceled all the Sunday's gone. Oh, okay. okay. James going to stay home and sleep and <laughs> do a public service to the congregation out there. He's coming in later. We've got a bunch of he pastors is. coming in this morning. Mm -hmm. We do. And then one pretend pastor, Richie Hughes. <laughs> so, man, is this going to be big. <laughs> all right, let's get a check of traffic here. This Don Ledford Cleveland Mix Highway Patrol report You're is watching brought to you by Mornings on Mix TV. Here is your current Kia of Cleveland time. And your current temperature in Cleveland is brought to you by Milligan Vane. On road at Sunset Avenue. That's a crash with injuries. So that's going to be between Harrison Pike and Willow Street there on Georgetown Road. So we'll be sure to keep you up to date. Again, that's Georgetown Road at Sunset Avenue, a crash with injuries. And then also Mouse Creek Road at Keith Street. No injuries in that accident, but be aware of both of these. We do have rain in the area, so drive safely out there. If you see a traffic problem, give us a call. The Volunteer Rita Pest Mix Line is 614-6499. You can also text us at that same number. This traffic report is brought to you by Waste Connections of Cleveland. Efficient, state-of-the-art, automated curbside service. Find out more by visiting wasteconnections.com slash Cleveland TM. You know, I just thought of something. Um, UT will be playing in the home of m, &M on uh, Friday night in right. Detroit. Mm -hmm. So, uh, go, and, you know, and, and what, what Rick Barnes should do to motivate the team, take him down 8 Mile and uh, just let him see where Marshall grew up. And get him that. going. Yep. What? You can do that. Yeah. You know. Hard, uh, it's time for the Hardy's Wake Up. Speaking of 8 Mile, 
Hardee's is bringing back exciting, I don't know what that means, uh, bringing back exciting and delicious news with the beloved Philly Cheesesteak Breakfast Burrito. Also the Philly Cheesesteak Angus Burger. Hey, the uh, Philly uh, Breakfast Burrito includes folded eggs, thinly sliced ribeye, fire roasted onions and peppers. And melty American cheese served in a warm flour tortilla. Yes, that say that? that's correct. I say tortilla, but I'm told that's wrong. <laughs> or choose the Philly burger with a 100% Angus beef top with thinly sliced ribeye, fire roasted onions and peppers, melty American and Swiss cheese, mayo served in a toasted potato bun. Can we get more ingredients here? What, what are we reading? The back label, Nicole? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Sounds good. It does sound good, but I don't need every ingredient. <laughs> I love Hardee's, but let's uh, calm down here. <laughs> Get your uh, Philly goodness at a Hardee's near you at 12 after 7. Hardee's Philly cheesesteak favorites are back. Handcrafted creations with sautéed peppers, onions, and melty cheese to reinvent the signature Philly classics from sunrise to supper time. Hardee's, goodness in the making. Mayfield Dairy, celebrating 100 years of the iconic Mayfield ice cream at MayfieldDairy.com. Proudly headquartered in Athens, Tennessee. Dad, are these numbers right? Our factory's been overproducing mattresses for most of the year. The boys were on a heater and I just let them cook. What? Yeah, well when you have a crew of craftsmen like we do, you just gotta let them go. Well, I guess there's one thing to do. Right now at Mermaid Mattress, get Tempur-Pedic, the most highly recommended mattress in America, starting at only 41 cents a night. But people better hurry because at these prices, they won't last long. And it's only at Mermaid Mattress. Your sleep, handmade, hand-delivered. Welcome to Mountain View Nissan Country, where automotive excellence is our top priority. At Mountain View Nissan, we take pride in offering you the finest selection of vehicles, perfectly suited for your adventurous spirit. From powerful SUVs ready to conquer any terrain to your everyday gas-friendly commuters, we have the perfect vehicle to match your lifestyle. This is Mountain View Nissan Country, where automotive dreams become reality. Visit one of our three locations in Dalton, Chattanooga, and Cleveland today and let us take your driving experience to new peaks. When most people think of plumbing and electrical supply houses, there's an idea that they're just for plumbers or electricians or builders to shop at. Wholesale Supply is proud to be open to the public and proud to serve our communities. By supplying the best quality products for the best prices with the best service guaranteed, Wholesale Supply is your one-stop shop for everything plumbing, electrical, and HVAC. To find a location near you, visit wholesalesupply.us for more. Helping build communities in the Southeast for over 80 years is just what we do. Save a bundle at Eller & Owens Furniture & Mattress. Furniture, mattresses, and decor. The more you buy, the more you save. Up to 40% off. Create a bundle, a sofa and chairs, end tables, a recliner, lamps and rugs, an entire room, up to 40% off. Create a custom bundle and watch the savings grow. Up to 40% off. Look for Take Me Home Today tags. Bundle in stock items. Special financing is available. Bundle and save at Eller & Owens Furniture & Mattress. It's time for your Cleveland Area Community Calendar, presented by Tenova Healthcare. Learn more about Tenova Healthcare in Cleveland by visiting them online at tenovacleveland.com. 654-7630 or visit them online at alchemymedspachat.com. All right, it's uh, it's 7:15. Don't forget Mix 1041 teaming up with Crossroads Community Church and we're giving away a ham for him every day. <laughs> Isn't it funny that uh, you know, uh, the Jews don't eat ham or pork, yet that's what we all eat on Easter. Is that is there not any irony in that? <laughs> 
I mean, I guess so. <laughs> you know, and uh, so, Al, I'm, we're going we're gonna to continue to perpetrate this because God <laughs> knows we've got to have a bun eating ham on Easter. <laughs> so, or just eat a bunny, I don't know. Uh, honey baked ham. <laughs> We're giving away a ham every day. A honey baked. It's not. Let me say. It's not just a ham. It's a honey baked ham. If it ain't a honey baked ham, it ain't a ham. No. That's right. Uh, Crossroads Community Church. Appreciate Mickey Clark for doing this. Uh, they uh, purchase the hams for this. So uh, uh, you can find out what they're doing for Easter at CrossroadsCommunityChurch.com. Uh, We'd encourage Pastor Clark to go there and see what they're doing. Uh, anyway, uh, if you want to win, uh, what do they need to do, Bridget? Okay, you can call us or text us, 614-6499. Again, our number is 614-6499. Call or text. Let us know you want to win the ham today. Yeah, we're doing that till 9 a.m. Hey, Gail Walker won our first ham uh, yesterday, uh, Sheridan just told me. So uh, congratulations to Gail, courtesy of Crossroads Community Church and the great Honey Baked Ham. Now, folks, you want to get your ham for Easter? Go to the website. Uh, what is it? Honeybakedham.com? Is that it? Honeybaked.com. Oh, just honeybaked? Mm-hmm. It's honeybaked.com. And uh, place your order. You can go pick them up. Montana and Kurt and all of them will be glad to see you. Posh and Lavish is an all-natural latex and wool line of mattresses sold exclusively by Mermaid Mattress. Come take a test rest and you'll receive a free latex pillow, but only at Mermaid Mattress. For today, we'll have cloudy skies with periods of rain throughout the day, a high of 66 We'll have mainly clear skies tonight with a low of 45. For tomorrow, partly cloudy, a high of 67 and a low of 43. Partly cloudy on Thursday as well with a high of 65. Your current Milligan vein temperature is 57 degrees. This weather forecast is brought to you by PhD Pharmacy, Keith Street near Harrison Pike. Free delivery within a 50-mile radius of Cleveland. Call Gina Mosier-Patterson today at 423-614-6650. Back to the music. The variety and the hits. Good morning. Today is a storm alert weather day, particularly right now through your midday hours. There's two different factors I want to talk to you about. So this time I'm going to start off with the wind. We are getting wind gusts. It started to be really gusty during the overnight hours. I know some of you might have woken up because you heard things kind of falling around outside, maybe some branches up against your window, and that wind is going to be with us through midday. So when we talk about specific end times to the wind advisories, our far western communities uh, is going to be ending a little bit earlier. Earlier. So Northeast Alabama, DeKalb, Jackson counties and Grundy and Van Buren counties in Tennessee, your wind advisories end at 7 a.m. Central time. The rest of our area, so Georgia, the rest of Tennessee into Cherokee County lasts through the midday hours, so it doesn't end until 2 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, what we're talking about for those wind concerns then are sustained wind at 15 to 30 miles per hour, the potential for gusts up to 45 to 50 miles per hour. Now, most likely the gusts that you're going to experience and already have experienced through the nighttime hours are at 20 to 40 miles per hour. Don't forget, I talked about this yesterday, high wind warning in southeastern Monroe County. That goes all the way up into the Smoky Mountains, gusts up to 80 miles per hour in those tallest mountain peaks. So that's concern number one is the wind. Concern number two is the rain. Now, we are not expecting any kind of severe storm, so I can assure you with that, you don't have to worry about severe thunderstorm warnings, tornado warnings, but roads are going to be wet this morning. Pair that with the gusty wind, the low visibility with active rainfall. We want you to just take it slow and be safe for your morning time drive. Rain continues to expand across our area, moving from west to east. We've seen kind of that one line fizzle out a little bit, uh, but we certainly have individual pockets of all of these heavy downpours showing up in the red from Athens down towards south of Dalton throughout Dade County, especially into DeKalb County and Alabama around Fort Payne, along with some lightning strikes. So we kind of zoom in a little bit in in the metro area of Chattanooga, a slight decrease for some of you in Hamilton County, but look at this band that's in Dade County. That's going to be lifting up from the southwest to the northeast right into Hamilton County as well. Here's the big picture. Remember, we're just now getting this rain and there's extending quite beyond our area, so it's going to be with us throughout your morning time. That's the trough. There's the cold front that's going to come through this evening and really kind of clear things out. So as we look at our future cast for this morning, 
morning time continues to expand from now till 7 a.m. From about 7 a.m. to 3 o'clock in the afternoon, pretty widespread rain for everybody, including some pockets of heavy downpours, and you still have those breezy conditions from the south during the morning time. Now, the wind is going to die down a little bit once we head into the afternoon, but rain lingering slightly longer, so I think widespread again through 3 p.m. Once we get past about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, that's really going to kind of move and clear out through about 6 o'clock in the evening, and then look at that clouds clearing out as well. So we still have several hours again. Strongest wind in the morning time, rain lasting till about 3 p.m., and then rain tapering off between about 3 and 6 p.m. Total rainfall for today, about a half inch to an inch and a half across the area. As far as your allergy report goes, I can tell you at least some good news. Good air quality, mold and pollen counts, though, still in the high category. Certainly do want you to be weather aware, especially this morning, the morning time drive. You can feel that wind on your vehicle, particularly if you have a high profile vehicle, kind of wiggling it a little bit. So just be careful for that. But it will be better already by this evening. And the rest of the week looking nice. 78 for Easter Sunday, y'all. Wow. So perfect day. As well. You're watching Mix Mornings on Mix TV. Here is your current Kia of Cleveland time. And your current temperature in Cleveland is brought to you by Milligan Vane. Happy birthday to Pam Elliott today. They tell us she is a longtime listener, and we know that. Yeah, happy birthday to Pam today. Call in your birthdays and wedding anniversaries to us. We'll take those on the Volunteer Ridipest Mix Line, 614-6499. You can also text us at that same number. Go to our website, mymix1041.com, or download our free Mix 1041 app. It's the Simmons Bank Celebration List. Simmons Bank works hard to help make their customers' dreams come true. Call Ken Dew, 423-381-3427. The Mix 1041 News Desk, brought to you by Logan Thompson Law, a tradition of legal and community service. That's Logan Thompson Law at LoganThompsonLaw.com. News update here at uh, coming up on uh, 723. A lot of people thinking and asking about uh, Bradley County Sheriff Steve Lawson. I received a report this morning, uh, and I am told by the family to tell you that the sheriff is improving every day. Uh, his neck and back, uh, uh, they're telling him, uh, should heal over time. And, uh, Bridget, I know you spoke with uh, the sheriff's wife, Connie, uh, this morning. I did, yes. And uh, as we mentioned before, just so happy to keep hearing the good reports that are coming from the family. All right. So, uh, but they do ask uh, for your continued prayers and uh, uh, that for Bradley County Sheriff Steve Lawson. Big news uh, locally, and this out of the Cleveland City Council meeting yesterday, where Vice Mayor Avery Johnson announced that he will retire from the Cleveland City Council following the second meeting of the council in May. Uh, Avery Johnson has been vice mayor of the city of Cleveland for 22 years, started uh, when uh, uh, Tom Rowland was the mayor of Cleveland and has continued on. And uh, Avery is, uh, is retiring from the city council. Now, uh, the council will appoint uh, someone because you've got a few months there until the, the next election in August. And so uh, we'll be uh, we'll be talking more about that. There is more news from the Cleveland City Council. Also, the Bradley County Commission met last night. You can watch both meetings on uh, MixTV.tv. And we're back uh, with Pastor Lipsy here in a moment. This news update brought to you by Cleveland Plywood Company, 2700 20th Street Northeast in Cleveland. In Cleveland. They are your exclusive home of Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC, located on North Lee Highway and anytime at donledford.com. Crews are working a few accidents here locally this morning. Georgetown Road at Sunset Avenue, that is a crash with injuries. That's going to be between Harrison Pike and Willow Street there on Georgetown Road. So again, Georgetown Road at Sunset Avenue, a crash with injuries. Mouse Creek Road at Keith Street, no injuries in that accident. And then also this one just in Atkinson Drive near Brooks Edge Apartments. Crews working an accident there as well. So we appreciate the call on that. As always, if you see a traffic problem, give us a call. The Volunteer Ridipest Mix Line is 614-6499. You can also text us at that same number. This traffic report is brought to you by Southland Finance. Loans up to $20,000. Call Dusty and the team at Southland Finance. Located at 950 25th Street in Cleveland in front of Ace Hardware. 423-458-3007. 
online at southlandfinance.net. And we just received an update on that wreck on Georgetown Road. Um, that uh, road is actually shut down at this time. Police are rerouting traffic in that area. So that's the one that's on Georgetown Road at Sunset Avenue. We appreciate the update on that. Yeah, be careful. Uh, leave a little alert if you're still at home. We're joined now by the pastor of South Cleveland Church of God, a longtime friend, Pastor Edwin Lipsy. Pastor, how are you? I am well this morning. I'm glad to see the rain. Well, absolutely. And it is Holy Week. And uh, you and I were talking earlier, actually, to our Instagram followers, whatever that means. And, uh, and uh, you at South Cleveland really place a lot on Palm Sunday. So I know you had a big Sunday this past week. We did. We had a tremendous Sunday. Uh, obviously, uh, Easter, the holiest week on the Christian's calendar. And uh, we, we always begin placing our emphasis on Palm Sunday. I'll, I always preach from the triumphant entry of Jesus in Luke, the 19th chapter. And and that, that triumphant entry seems to be the threshold that leads us into the week that Mel Gibson made, passion, m- made uh, famous in our generation called the Passion of Christ. Uh, and, and we place tons of emphasis on, uh, on the passion of Christ during the week. I think Christians, uh, for the most part, are guilty of rushing past the events of Passion Week in order to get to next Sunday. We're people of the resurrection, and and, and we should be people of the resurrection. The Scripture says, if there be no resurrection, we're of all men most miserable. But but I'm afraid sometimes we rush past the events of the week of Passion in order to get to that resurrection. Resurrection, And when we do that, people inadvertently begin to exchange the words free and cheap. We, we declare that salvation is free, and no doubt it is. It, it, it couldn't be bought with a bucket uh, full of gold. Salvation is absolutely free. But, but there was nothing cheap about it. A price was paid, a ransom was met. And so at South, we, we, we stop on the, the week of the triumphant entry, and, and we declare that that is the threshold that leads us into the week of passion. It will lead Christ through the old city. It, it, it will lead Christ uh, to the point where he is in an upper room, where he's enjoying a meal with his closest friends, where he takes the bread, breaks it, declares it's symbolic of my body where he takes the cup, shares it, says it's symbolic of my blood. He then washes the feet of his disciples. It, it, it then leads him to a garden, and it's, it's a garden like no other, a garden of Gethsemane. It's, it's not a garden where he, where he strolls and enjoys the beautiful aroma of the plants and the shrubs, but it's a garden where he calls a prayer meeting, uh, attempting to get others to pray with him and, and, and seemingly failing in that uh, effort as his disciples fall asleep. And he stirs them and wakes them and he prays again and realizes he's going to have to pray in great isolation. And that isolation becomes so great that the isolation turns to agony. And he prays until the scripture says his sweat became, as it were, great drops of blood. It it, it leads him from that to the point that he sees lanterns coming in the distance, that he hears the rattling of the Roman guard where he's kissed with a kiss of betrayal. He's then bound hand and foot and taken off in the night by sinful man. Christ, the sinless Son of God, who came to set you and I free, is taken off in the night, bound hand and foot. It will lead him through the halls to where he stands before Pilate. It will lead him to several mock trials. It it, it will lead him to a praetorium where he's scourged. It it will lead him to a whipping post where, where he's tied and beat by skillful executioners to to a place that he can no longer be recognized as a man from there it will lead him to the rugged slopes of Golgotha where he carries his own cross beam and ultimately it will lead, lead him to a place where on a Friday he suspended between heaven and earth on a cross spat upon ridiculed beat to beyond recognition and, and from that cross he cries Eli Eli my sabekana my God my God why Hast thou forsaken me? And when we rush past those events in order to get to next Sunday, we, we do an injustice to the passion of Christ. So Wednesday, I'll be finishing a message that I started Sunday. Sunday, I, I preached about the passion of Christ. Wednesday, I'll, I'll preach it, and, and we'll have a Sunday morning crowd on Wednesday night at South this week as I finish this message. And, and, and I'll preach on lessons from the donkey. In, in the 19th chapter of Luke, when Jesus tells his disciples to go into the village, he says, there you'll find the colt of an ass, inexperienced, unridden, and tied up. 
and, and that donkey is really symbolic of you and I today, Steve. Inexperienced, unridden, and tied up. And, and, and we're going to talk about lessons from the donkey. Jesus knew right where that donkey was. Now, now scholars argue about how he knew where that donkey was. Some say it was prearranged. Others say, no, no, divine foreknowledge. But, but what's important is not how Jesus knew where that donkey was, but that Jesus knew where that donkey was. He said he's right inside the city gates. If Jesus knew where a little unridden, bound, inexperienced donkey was, certainly he knows where your listeners are today. He, he knows what's going on in their life. He, he knows the concerns of their heart. Jesus knows where you are. And, and we'll talk Wednesday night about three or four lessons from that donkey. And then on Friday, we do something here in the city of Cleveland. Last year was the first time we did it in Dallas. I did it every year. I was there for 20 years as a pastor, and, and we implemented it last year. We do a cross-carrying event on Friday from, from 9 in the morning to 6 in the afternoon all day long down North Lee Highway and South Lee Highway, hundreds of people from South Cleveland will be walking, carrying a cross. And, and, and the point of that is just to have people stop and remember that a ransom was satisfied, a, a price was paid. I venture to say if you were to go stand at the entry of Walmart on Good Friday and ask the majority of people coming in Walmart, can you tell me what Good Friday represents? Can you tell me what it's symbolic of? The overwhelming majority of people would not point to the cross event that took place at Galgotha's Slopes. We, we, we lose sight of what the Easter weekend is about. We get caught up with the Easter bunny. We get caught up with family reunions. We get caught up with barbecues. And we lose sight that it's about the cross event of Christ. And so from 9 in the morning to 6 in the afternoon, on the main street of Cleveland, we, we want people to just see the cross and, and just stop and pause and remember resurrection is great. But but had there been no crucifixion, th there could have been no resurrection. And so it's going to be a great day. And then we'll end at Raider Park, Greenway Park um, uh, at 6 o'clock. We'll have some unplugged acoustic worship take about 15 or 20 minutes, and then have a communion service where we put where we put the cup and we put the bread in the hands. And that's not just for South. Anyone can come. And once again, last year was the first year we did it. It was pouring down rain. Uh, I, I thought, boy, it's going to be a going to be a slim crowd. But hundreds of people uh, gathered under Greenway Park. And, and we would love to see a 1,000 people at Greenway Park Friday night at 6 o'clock to stop and say, I remember him. And then that, that'll lead us to Sunday. We'll have some things for the kids uh, after service on Sunday. But, but our emphasis is that worship uh, experience and celebrating the fact that he was dead, but he's alive today and he's alive forevermore. And so if, if, if you're not an active attender of a church uh, on Sunday mornings, we encourage you come be a part with us at South. We'll start at 1030. We've got a seat for you. We've been preparing for you all year long, and, and we hope that it becomes a regular event in your life where you come to worship every day because Christ wants to be involved in your life. He gave his life in order to be involved in yours. So come worship with us at South. Pastor Edmund Lipsy, South Cleveland Church of God. Pastor, would you say a blessing over uh, this audience and this community this morning? Anything a that you're led to pray? Absolutely. Father, I thank you so much for the city of Cleveland. I thank you for the gospel influence that's in this city. I thank you for Lee University. I, I thank you for every Bible preaching church in this town. God, I thank you for all the phenomenal Baptist churches. I thank you for the Methodist, the Presbyterian. I thank you for the Pentecostal churches. I thank you for the influence of my denomination, the Church of God, on this city. And God, I pray that you would touch every person that lives in Cleveland and in Bradley County, everyone that listens to this radio station. God, I speak blessings over their life. And God, I pray that the power of the resurrection would fill them. God, I pray that you would bring health to their bodies. I pray for our sheriff, Steve Lawson. He's such a phenomenal man. God, I pray that you would touch his body. Let him be healed and whole 
in the power of Jesus' name. God, I pray that you would fill churches up in this community uh, on this Easter weekend. God, as we stop and remember the passion, as we stop and remember the resurrection, God, I pray that people would would allow the commerce, the busyness, the, 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 the going to and fro of their life to just be paused for this weekend, that we can remember the suffering that took place on Golgotha slopes 2,000 years ago. And then, God, let that passion, let that resurrection bring change to our daily lives. God, people that are dealing with addiction in Bradley County today, God, you spoke to your disciples and you said you're going to find a young coat bound and tied. And you said, loose him and let him go. God, I pray that people who are under the sound of my voice right now that are bound by addiction to chemical substance, that are bound by uh, addictions and, and, and are gripped by depression and isolation and anxiety and fear, I speak to them in the power of your name, the same word you spoke over that little coat of an ass. God, let them be loosed and set free this Easter weekend. God, I pray blessings over the families. Renew marriages. God, turn the father's hearts to the children and the children's hearts to the father. Let this be the most dynamic, impacting, transformational Easter weekend that the city of Cleveland, the United States of America, and this globe has ever known. And we'll be careful to give you praise. We thank you that you were born We thank you that you lived a sinless life. We thank you that you had the shadow of the cross hanging over you from the cradle, and that you were faithful to your purpose on this earth, that you died on Calvary's cross, that you descended into the heart of the earth, that you preached a message to the righteous dead, led captivity captive, having in your possession today the keys to death, hell, and the grave. God, I thank you that on Sunday morning 2,000 years ago, you arose, and that that event, that event two millennia ago, is still relevant for our lives today, and we bless the holy name of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray, amen, amen, and amen. Our longtime friend, Pastor Edmund Lipsy of South Cleveland Church of God. What's the website? Everybody can find out all about it. Southcleveland.org. Let's see, and I heard someone saying happy birthday uh, a while ago. My, my wife's day has passed. It was Sunday, March 24th, but it was her 50th birthday. Oh. She, she normally doesn't celebrate a birthday. See, she doesn't have a singular no. day. I get a day. She gets a birthday month. Oh, absolutely. But, but, but she has declared because it is the 50th, she will have a birthday year. The whole year. Uh, the whole year. Oh, the, whole, the whole year. So we had a big... Uh, 50th Fiesta 4 at our new property uh, on Sunday, and I say happy birthday year to my wife. I love it. Pastor, thank you so much. Great All to right. see you. God bless you. Love you guys. Love you, and we will be back with more. It is uh, 21 minutes before 8 a.m. on Mix 1041 and MixTV.TV. We have a candidate announcement coming up. Dwayne Goff will join us to make a, a big announcement. We'll do that in a moment. You need money overnight, check into cash, your time is tight, dot com. Bank account's too low, check into cash, so where do you go, dot com. Do it online in a record time, it's the easy way to get money next day. Do a quick click from home at check into cash, dot com. You can be sure it's secure from our bank straight to yours. Do a quick click from home at check into cash, dot com. Boom, boom. Paula, tell us about how you came to shop at Chattanooga Auto Square. Well, I was introduced to it from my husband. He purchased his first Range Rover years ago. Then occasionally I'd start asking him if I could start driving it. I would confidently recommend them. I mean, they make you feel like family from the moment you arrive. Being in real estate for like 34 years, you really come to value and appreciate the level of service that Range Rover gives you. Chattanooga Auto Square. Luxury lives here. 
Peyton Southeastern in Cleveland is hiring case selectors. Starting pay at $19 an hour. Earning potential up to $23 an hour plus incentive pay. Additional $2 an hour night shift premium. And you're eligible to earn a $3,000 stay bonus. Flexible schedules and great benefits at Peyton Southeastern in Cleveland. They have open interviews Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday from 9 to 11 a.m. and from 1 to 3 p.m. Apply online at job.kroger.com to work at Peyton Southeastern in Cleveland. And so we do understand that Cleveland Utilities is on the scene. Go inside the Mermaid Mattress Weather Center 20 before 8. Thank you to the hundreds of customers that left five-star reviews after their experience of buying from us at Mermaid Mattress. For today, we'll have rain throughout the day, a high of 66, mainly clear skies this evening with a low of 45. For tomorrow, partly cloudy, a high of 67 and a low of 43. And then partly cloudy on Thursday as well with a high of 65. Your current Milligan Vane temperature is 56 degrees. Aubrey's of Cleveland offers some of the most fresh and delicious foods in East Tennessee. Stop in tonight for dinner or order online at aubreysrestaurant.com. Click the Cleveland location and order there. 19 before 8, it's the CHI Memorial Sports Desk. CHI Memorial, hello human kindness. The sports report is sponsored and barred by the Town Squire. Be ready for Easter with that man in your life at the Town Squire. When it comes to the occasions where a tuxedo is required, experience counts. The Town Squire has been this area's tuxedo headquarters for over 40 years. Weddings, proms, any special occasion. Great selection of accessory colors and styles, including slim and ultra slim fit for the most important occasions. The Town Squire is your tuxedo headquarters in the Stewart Park Plaza, Key Street, Cleveland, Tennessee. All right, uh, good morning, everybody. It's uh, 18 before the hour, and the Lady of All's season is over. Uh, they lost uh, last night uh, to uh, NC State in the women's tournament. Yeah, the Lady of All's uh, lost 79-72 in Raleigh. That's, uh, the, like I said, the home of NC State, the, uh, the Lady Wolf Pack last night. Well, I tell you, Iowa, the... Uh, the Hawkeyes, Caitlin Clark, had a scare from West Virginia last night. It was tight, very late, but uh, Iowa pulls away on free throws the final minute, 64-54. As uh, Iowa and Caitlin Clark move on to the uh, Sweet 16, UConn, Chino Ariyama, Shamalama Ningdong. Yes, uh, that thing. they uh, advance to their 30th, 30th. 30th straight Sweet 16 for the uh, for the Lady Huskies. Pat Summit, of course, her uh, biggest rival back in the day. How about this in the NBA? The Atlanta Hawks came back. They were down 30, 30 to the Boston Celtics, best team in the NBA, and they beat them 120 <coughs> to uh, 118. Hawks down 30, came back and beat the Celtics last night. Shoy Otani, the uh, best player in Major League Baseball, signed that $700 million deal in the offseason. He held a press conference at Dodger Stadium yesterday, said his interpreter, or uh, spoke out for the first time since his interpreter, is alleged to have stolen money from Otani. The situation under investigation, but Otani's been accused uh, of betting himself, and he's denied ever betting on sports or knowingly paying his interpreter's gambling debts. Uh, in uh, high school baseball yesterday, Walker Valley over Ottawa 9-6. Bradley beat McMinn County 3-2. Softball, Walker Valley beat uh, Clinton 4 nothing. And the uh, got this uh, note uh, from Cleveland High School uh, Athletic Director Al Morris, who uh, tells me that yesterday the Cleveland City Council uh, voted to revise the contract with the city schools to allow the ten Cleveland High School tennis team to have full use of the seven courts at uh, at Tensley Park uh, between 3 and 4.30 for all weekly practice days due to the growing number of participants. The original contract had five courts, two left open to the public. Now it's all seven. Here's also a note for you. Uh, if, you're, if you're not hearing a local score that you say, well, uh, why aren't you doing it? Well, especially in the springtime, we're just trying to keep up with everything we can, so we need your help. If I uh, appreciate, we got some calls yesterday on soccer. 
Uh, we do the best we can. Not really. I mean, well, maybe it's the best we can, but uh, and we're, we're counting on Bridget and her mother and <laughs> the do-nothing party. And, and mm -hmm. so anyway, no, uh, if you've got scores, make sure they're accurate. But uh, if you're a parent, uh, we, now we've reached out to all the coaches and they're busy and all that. But uh, uh, call or text us. Let us know. 423-614-6499. Uh, we get a lot of help, a lot of good parents, that sort of thing. But, hey, if you're not hearing it, the local scores uh, do something about it. Uh, or call Bobby Ludwig, your Edward Jones financial advisor. Good morning, Bobby. How are you? Hey, Steve. Good morning. I'm always available for a phone call or two. All right. Well, we'll remember that. I know that. <laughs> Bobby, uh, what's up, buddy? Hey, markets aren't, weren't up. We, Steve, last week we almost hit Dow 40,000. Uh, we've been in a little bit of a retreat since then. Dow was down 162 points to close at 39,314. You know, we'll hit it. We'll get to Dow 40,000 at some point, but it's not going to be uh, one from yesterday. But the S&P down 15 to close at 5,218, and the NASDAQ down 44 points to close at 16,384. So uh, markets were down. Back to you guys in the studio. Bobby Ludwig, your Edward Jones financial advisor. How can people reach out to you? Give us a call for all your investment, retirement, and life insurance needs, 473-2215. Again, that's 473-2215. Or stop by and see me at 2060 North Dakota, right by the old liner gas station. All right, Bobby, thanks. Talk to you tomorrow, 14 before the hour. Dwayne Goff is uh, coming up next. He's going to be making an announcement this morning at 14 before 8. Stand by. When most people think of plumbing and electrical supply houses, there's an idea that they're just for... Shopping for a great deal on a car or truck? Know this. Cleveland Ford is loaded with vehicles, over 230 in stock, all discounted. I'm talking saving up to $7,500 on new F-Series trucks and Mustang Mach-E. We have financing as low as 0% on Edge and 1.9% for 72 months on new F-150s. And as always, you get a lifetime powertrain warranty and complimentary service when you buy from us. So hurry to Cleveland Ford today because this sale ends soon or shop us at clevelandford.com. I told my son to find me the nicest place to live in Cleveland. He said, Dad, there's only one place, and that's Garden Plaza. And I moved into the patio home. Everybody knows your name from day one, and there's something to do all day long if you want to participate in it. You cannot possibly be bored at Garden Plaza. It is just great, and our food is outstanding. It's out of this world. And I'm so happy I'm here. Garden Plaza is it for me. Choosing the right health care plan for you and your family can be overwhelming. Direct Primary Care Associates' new pharmacy benefits is the best choice for you and your family. With personalized attention, convenient telemedicine options, and free generic medications, Direct Primary Care Associates' pharmacy benefits offers everything you need to keep you and your family healthy and happy. Say goodbye to long wait times, rushed appointments, and unexpected medical bills. Visit our website to learn more about how Direct Primary Care Associates can provide the best health care experience for you and your family. Direct Primary Care Associates, affordable health care for all. Did you know that drinking and driving is a leading cause of traffic fatalities? It kills more than 28 people in the United States every day. That means one person every 52 minutes. If you would like to get in on that drawing, you can call us or text us at 614-6499. Again, 614-6499. Call or text if you'd like to win a free ham from our friends at Honey Baked. All right, so uh, you can uh, do that and uh, get involved till 9 a.m. Then Mike Lee will give you another chance to qualify uh, this afternoon on the Mix Afternoon Drive, driven by Mountain View Nissan of Cleveland. Well, we're joined by uh, already making noise. Well, you know, by uh, Dwayne Goff, who is uh, coming in. Uh, Dwayne Goff uh, is here, and uh, he's got family here with him uh, this morning. And Dwayne, I understand that you've come to make an announcement. I have, Steve. I have uh, have big, big news this morning. Uh, really? As you, yeah, as you know, I have lived in Cleveland for almost forty years now, and. Uh, I have been married to the love of my life, Candace Jones Golf, for 24 years now. Had to throw that one in there. Mm. We have lived in uh, District 5 for 17 of those years. And for the last 20 years, I've been blessed to be a firefighter locally, as well as a business owner. And I believe that 
All these things have prepared me for the announcement that I'm making this morning. So it is with much prayerful consideration that I'm announcing my candidacy for city council in District 5. I'm excited about it. Wow. Wow. Uh, and you're clapping for yourself. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I'm yeah, sure yeah, we hear some applause somewhere. <laughs> no. Uh, well, why? I mean, so so why have you decided to run, Dwayne? Uh, it's really simple, Steve. I love Cleveland. I've always loved Cleveland. We, I grew up here. I met my wife here. We've raised our children here. We have amazing relationships here in town. We're vested in the community. And I want to do my part, do everything I can do, to ensure that all of our children, the future generations of Cleveland, have the same opportunities that we were afforded growing up here in Cleveland, the city with spirit. We're joined by uh, Dwayne Goff announcing his candidacy for Cleveland City Council in the uh, 5th District. Now, this is the district uh, that Dale Hughes uh, has uh, decided uh, not to run uh, uh, for, this, uh, for this district. So, well, let me ask you, so what are some things you'd like to accomplish, uh, Dwayne, uh, if you're elected? Well, I believe that Cleveland is at a crossroads. It doesn't take long driving around town to realize we have an influx of people from all over the place, and that is fantastic. But it also creates some challenges. And what I would like to do is to go to work to figure out what those solutions are. I will listen to the people of Cleveland. I want to hear what their issues are, what is important to them. And then I'm going to go back and work with every city councilman. I'm going to work with every Bradley County commissioner to put things together that are going to be good for the city so that we can make good long-term choices. We have to focus on responsible growth and making difficult decisions now so that we can have an excellent future for Cleveland for generations to come. Dwayne Goff announcing his uh, candidacy, District 5, Cleveland City Council. Well, Dwayne, how can people uh, find out more about your campaign? So our, our social is live on Facebook. If you'll just go to Vote Golf, that will show up. Uh, golf is spelled G-O-F-F. -F. So Vote Golf, or you can go to VoteGolf.com, and our site's uh, there. You're welcome to look at that. We have a contact page. We'd love for you to reach out to us, ask us any questions, and any way we can help, happy to do so. I would love to to have your vote. Anything uh, you'd like to add here, uh, Dwayne? Uh, Dwayne Goff announcing his candidacy. Uh, anything you want to add here before we go? I'd just like to say thank you to Cleveland. I'm a product of this, this city. I'm a product of the Bradley County School System. My wife is a Cleveland City School System, and uh, she's actually a fourth-generation Clevelander. So uh, we love this town. I would love to have the opportunity to serve as uh, City Council District 5 and um, thank you for my wife and my children for being here today. I, I love you very much. Yeah, and uh, uh, Candace, of course, did not know why she was coming today. She uh, <laughs> she was invited over. She is it's finding true. this out right now it's with true. all of us. Yes. So anyway, yes. I'm kidding around. Uh, <laughs> is it true that LaVoy Jones will be your press secretary if elected? Well, uh, the, the jury is out on that. I have, <laughs> I have not, can neither confirm nor deny it. <laughs> your father-in-law, the most decorated veteran in Cleveland history. All right. Yes. Dwayne Goff announcing your candidacy. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Steve. And uh, Candace and uh, the girls, thank you very much for coming. All right. All right. It is uh, right now 7 uh, before the hour. Good morning uh, to all of you. How about a little Aerosmith on a uh, Tuesday morning? Attention shoppers, don't forget to ask our certified butchers for great recipe tips. This is an authentic butcher shop where meat is hand cut in store. Beef is ground fresh daily, and expert advice from a certified butcher is always free of charge. <laughs> free advice? That's what I call value. The quality I crave! The value I count on. Nobody does food like Food City. Hardy's Philly cheesesteak favorites are back. Handcrafted creations with sauteed peppers, onions, and melty cheese to reinvent the signature Philly classics from sunrise to supper time. Hardy's goodness in the making. Thank you for calling Logan Thompson. This is Ashley.
you get a yearly checkup, shouldn't your air? With your local Lennox dealer, regular care equals perfect air. With technology you can touch, comfortable air you can feel, and savings you can see. Not just perfect air, perfect for you air. Call Dale's Heating and Air to upgrade your air today. Lennox, air is life, make it perfect. Hi, I'm Brian Poole, sole owner of Poole Serenity Funeral Home and Cremation Services of Cleveland. It's going to be more of our uh, discount funeral home and cremation center. We'll offer $895 cremation that will come with a wood urn. Only other charges the family have be for death certificates and permits. That's it. No other hidden charges, no other hidden fees. And we have a traditional burial package, $4,595. That does include a casket and the services. You can reach us at www.pfhserenity.com. Mayfield Dairy, celebrating 100 years of the iconic Mayfield ice cream at MayfieldDairy.com, proudly headquartered in Athens, Tennessee. Welcome to Mountain View Nissan Country, where automotive excellence is our top priority. At Mountain View Nissan, we take pride in offering you the finest selection of vehicles, perfectly suited for your adventurous spirit. From powerful SUVs ready to conquer any terrain to your everyday gas-friendly commuters, we have the perfect vehicle to match your lifestyle. This is Mountain View Nissan Country, where automotive dreams become reality. Visit one of our three locations in Dalton, Chattanooga, and Cleveland today and let us take your driving experience to new peaks. Bender Realty is helping to keep the community thriving during this pandemic by offering no contact online tools for buyers and sellers in the real estate market. Especially in this day and time with COVID, um, it makes a lot of the buyers are not wanting to get out and walk into someone else's home and even sellers may not want people in their home. We can actually do a virtual tour with our phones and send it to our clients. Walk through a property without having to actually be there and, and see all the intricacies of the property and the things that they may or may not want. If you're looking to buy, sell, Lisa Wren, trust your friends at Bender Realty, 472-2173, bender-realty.com. Be home with Bender Realty. You're watching Mixed Mornings on Mix TV. Here is your current Kia of Cleveland time. And your current temperature in Cleveland is brought to you by Milligan Vane. A lot of people, Fox going to cover it, a bridge collapse in Baltimore, Maryland uh, this morning, uh, maybe late last night, but uh, that is a, a big story nationally this morning. The Francis Scott Key Bridge uh, has collapsed in Baltimore, and uh, so that's a big story. We'll get into all of that with Fox News coming up. Local and state news, I have an update for you on uh, Bradley County Sheriff Steve Lawson Plus, uh, we've had reaction all over the place about the sheriff, but uh, Police Chief Mark Gibson has uh, given a reaction. We'll talk about that uh, coming up. I hope uh, the chief doesn't feel bad about the comments he made has made over the years about the sheriff, but also uh, him taunting him in uh, mixed madness. <laughs> I, I think, matter of fact, I think. <laughs> I think his I think his bragging name is like uh, uh, the the sheriff's mentor or something like that. It's uh, <laughs> kind of funny actually, but no kidding. It's really really nice that our our chief law enforcement guys get along so well. That's good for all of us. Trust me. So a uh, couple of minutes for eight news in a moment. This news update is brought to you by Rick's Plumbing Service, a family-owned business specializing in new commercial and residential plumbing. Call Jason or Josh at Rick's Plumbing Service, 423-595-6143. Traffic beat, very busy this morning, Bridget. Yeah, that's right. This Don Ledford Cleveland Mix Highway Patrol report is brought to you by Don Ledford in Cleveland. They are your exclusive home of Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC, located on North Lee Highway and anytime at DonLedford.com. Crews are working to clear up a crash with injuries on Georgetown Road at Sunset Avenue. Again, that is with injuries. That's going to be between Harrison Pike and Willow Street there on Georgetown Road. And at last check, uh, they told us that they are rerouting traffic in that area 
and Georgetown Road is shut down right there at Sunset Avenue. Also, another accident at Atkinson Drive near Brooks Edge Apartments, so be aware of that. And then also Mouse Creek at Keith Street, no injuries in that accident. And then we also understand that the, the traffic light is out, 25th Street at North Okoye Street, Cleveland Utilities on the scene, uh, working to get that back running. So if you see a traffic problem, give us a call. The Volunteer Ritapest Mix Line is 614-6499. You can also text us at that same number. We'll check your Mermaid Mattress Weather Center forecast coming up. I got a text. Uh, Blake Beard. You remember Blake? Yeah. He used to live here. Yes. I don't know if he still does still or not. Does. does he? Yeah. Okay. He owns a donut shop called Duck Donuts mm-hmm. down uh, next to Bonefish in uh, Chattanooga. Bang, bang. Yep. Um, bang, bang, shrimp. Anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> door stops, huh? Thanks for your help, man. <laughs> this lunatic texting me. Yeah, so what? I, I tried to give you some extra promotion yesterday. <laughs> Because you've given us dozens and dozens of donuts to give away to these people. <laughs> and he, and yes, maybe I referred to your donuts as doorstops. But I mean, God. Hey, oh, hey, on. keep sending your texts. It only gets worse, you moron. <laughs> Leave me out of it. It's a minute. A- oh, and happy Easter, by the way. It's a minute after. <laughs> I can just see his head getting red there on the This traffic report is brought man. to you by that is L&B wonderful. Appliance. Your one-stop appliance shop, locally owned and operated. Durkee Road at Highway 64 in Cleveland. 423-339-3231. When you need a tuxedo... 20 years later, we've grown in many ways, but never out of that same customer-first heart to serve. Doing the right thing simply because it's right will earn your business the right way every day, every year. Offering permanent steel roofing and siding at competitive prices. Keeping promises, staying on time for both deliveries and pickups, making things right when we come up short. Partners like you are the reason Best Buy Metals exists. Thank you for the opportunity to serve you. Come see us! Shopping for a great deal on a car or truck? Know this. Cleveland Ford is loaded with vehicles, over 230 in stock, all discounted. I'm talking saving up to $7,500 on new F-Series trucks and Mustang Mach-E. We have financing as low as 0% on Edge and 1.9% for 72 months on new F-150s. And as always, you get a lifetime powertrain warranty and complimentary service when you buy from us. So hurry to Cleveland Ford today because this sale ends soon or shop us at clevelandford.com. I told my son to find me the nicest place to live in Cleveland. He said, Dad, there's only one place, and that's Garden Plaza. Then I moved into the patio home. Everybody knows your name from day one, and there's something to do all day long if you want to participate in it. You cannot possibly be bored at Garden Plaza. It is just great, and our food is outstanding. It's out of this world. I'm so happy I'm here. Garden Plaza is it for me. The goodness of Hardee's two for five dollar wraps just got better. Now choose two wraps for breakfast or two hand breaded chicken wraps for lunch or dinner. Morning to night, get two wraps, five dollars. Hardee's, goodness in the making. Hi, I'm Brian Poole, sole owner of Poole Serenity Funeral Home and Cremation Services of Cleveland. It's going to be more of our uh, discount funeral home and cremation center. We'll offer $895 cremation that will come with a wood urn. Only other charges the family have be for death certificates and permits. That's it. No other hidden charges, no other hidden fees. We have a traditional burial package, $4,595. That does include a casket and the services. You can reach us at www.pfhserenity.com. 67 and a low of 43. And then on Thursday, partly cloudy again with a high of 64. Your current Milligan vein temperature is 56 degrees. This weather forecast is brought to you by the Center for Cosmetic Dentistry. Dr. Ken Beard, Dr. Brian Beard, and Dr. Baylor Terrell. Call them at 423-476-6541 or visit them online at centerforcosmeticdentistry.com. Broadcasting from the Broadcasting Kia of from the Kia of Cleveland Studios. This is Talk 1013 The Buzz. WCLE, HD2 and 1013 FM, W267BI Cleveland. Making sure the top of your house is the best it can be. Best by metalroofing.com. Fox News is next. Presented by Capital Tire Service in downtown Cleveland. 
First News. I'm Chris Foster. There's a search and rescue operation in the Patapsco River in Baltimore. The Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed after being hit by a container ship and several cars fell into the water. We may be looking for upwards of seven individuals. That's the latest information we have. Baltimore Fire Chief James Wallace says two people have been rescued, one seriously injured. The ship hit the bridge at around 1.20 a.m. A New York City police officer is shot and killed during a traffic stop. The NYPD says the cops approached a vehicle and the suspect pointed a gun towards the officers and opened fire, striking one. The officer identified as 31-year-old Jonathan Diller of Long Island. The unnamed suspect was also hit by gunfire. No word on his condition. Police describe him as a career criminal with 21 prior arrests. Fox's Tom Rigotti, that shooting suspect was, uh, was last released from prison in 2021 and was last arrested on a gun charge last April. America's listening to Fox News. The Mix 1041 News Desk brought to you by Logan Thompson Law, a tradition of legal and community service. That's Logan Thompson Law at LoganThompsonLaw.com. Local and state news. Mix 1041, we're on Talk 1013 The Buzz. We're on Mix TV.tv. Good morning from the Logan Thompson Law News Desk. We have an update on Bradley County Sheriff Steve Lawson uh, from a uh, from the family. As I uh, spoke with a uh, spokesman earlier this morning, uh, the sheriff, uh, we're told, is improving daily. Uh, his uh, neck and back should heal over time. And uh, the sheriff uh, thanks uh, everyone for their prayers uh, for him and uh, Connie. I know, uh, Bridget, uh, you, uh, you spoke uh, with Connie Lawson, uh, the sheriff's wife, earlier this morning. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. So I'm uh, very excited to hear the, the good news coming from uh, the sheriff and his family, and she's very thankful for all the prayers. Uh, before our official interview, I want to say good morning to uh, Pastor James Sears. You are uh, the sheriff's pastor, yeah, and good I know uh, you were down there on uh, Sunday, and uh, I understand uh, he's getting better. Yeah, I actually talked to Connie last night, and of course Bridget talked to her this morning. And they knew I was coming in and said, please tell the community thank you for their prayers. It, Steve, it, it really is a miracle. Um, I was there moments after the wreck. And I, I joked with him, Steve, Steve is an usher at our church, and I said, hey, Steve, I'm here today, I just got through preaching, we're going to take up an offering, we've got all these doctors here, surely we'll get a good <laughs> offering. And he kind of smiled at me at, at that moment, and of course he was in a lot of pain. Uh, but he went from the trauma ICU unit to going straight home. Wow. And I think that's just a testimony of all the prayers and what God has done in his life. And he's got a little road of recovery ahead of him. Going to be in a back brace and neck brace for a little while. But, man, it, it really is a miracle. It is a miracle, and we'll uh, be talking with you more here in uh, just a moment. Pastor uh, James Sears uh, from Mount Olive uh, joining us uh, here this morning. And a couple of, well, a major announcement in our, uh, in our Cleveland City Council meeting coverage yesterday. The Vice Mayor of Cleveland, Avery Johnson, announced that after uh, 22 years he is going to retire from the Cleveland City Council, he'll retire after the second meeting of May. Uh, Avery, a wonderful man, and uh, announced his retirement uh, from the City Council yesterday. And uh, what, uh, what will happen, the City Council will appoint uh, someone to uh, fill uh, Avery's uh, uh, district uh, position on the City Council until the following election, which will be in August. Uh, the City Council, uh, lots of updates yesterday, including uh, City Manager Joe Fivas, an update on several projects and uh, the agenda there. Uh, the uh, latest leg of the Cleveland Greenway a ribbon cutting will take place March 28th at uh, the new trailhead on Candy's Lane. Uh, citizens will now have about 2.6 miles of continuous walking in the Candy's Lane area. City Manager Joe Fivas announced the city's received approval from the Department of Transportation to bring the Greenway up and under I-75. Eventually, the sec uh, that section of Greenway will connect with Fletcher Park. Once that's complete, it'll, complete, it'll almost double the mileage of the Greenway as it stands today, giving citizens about 10 miles of walking trails. Uh, the city moving forward, the bidding process for the Peerless Road and Paula Parkway intersection. Uh, five has said that Paula Parkway will be entirely paved this summer and... Uh, the city making progress on the Enman Street project downtown, even with all of the rain.
Bradley Lake County Commission also met last night. Third District Commissioner of Finance Chairman Mylon Blake announced the Finance Committee will meet Monday to begin the budget review process. Now, Bradley County Commission First District uh, Commissioner Mike Hughes commented on a vote at last week's meeting to table a resolution authorizing the mayor to negotiate a written agreement with the city on a property exchange. Commissioner Hughes clarified he made the motion for several reasons, including letting the Fire Committee and the Building and Land Committee fully consider the matter and options. Then he announced the committees met earlier Monday, yesterday, and proposed that the Menace Road site, or proposed the Menace Road site for a new fire garage, and voted to recommend taking his previous resolution off the table. Instead, here's what they came up with. The committees voted to recommend that Bradley County exchange the Inman Street Fire and Rescue Facility, that's there next to the museum downtown, to the city, to Cleveland City, if the city, I feel like I'm doing a Major League Baseball trade, if the, and a player to be named later, if, let's get serious for a second. So here's what the county's saying. The county's going to exchange, this is a committee voting now, not the commission. The county would exchange the Enman Street Fire and Rescue Facility, that's downtown on Enman Street next to the museum. They would exchange that to the city if the city agrees to build the new fire facility for the county, are you following me, for the county on Menace Road. That's been added to the April 1st agenda and, uh, yes, a player to be named later. You know, James, it reminds me of the time you tried to trade Bridget uh, to St. Therese to their <laughs> choir, and you just, it just didn't work out. So, anyway, I don't, I don't know. I'm not even going no, there. I'm not even going to go there. Okay, that's just fine. <laughs> We're joined now by uh, officially a lead pastor of Mount Olive Ministries, James Sears, and associate pastor, Russell Hall, good morning, guys. How are you? Hey, good morning. Doing good, well. Good morning, Russell, Steve. Russell, great to see you. Good to see you, Steve. Long time no see. Absolutely. Well, Pastor Sears, I just want to go over to you. Tell us it's uh, such a big, big week and a big time at Mount Olive. Yeah. You know, I was I was thinking as I was driving in this morning, Steve, and, and listening at over the last several days and even weeks, people may wonder why we have so many ministers coming in and inviting people to Easter Sunday. And I think there's only one reason for that, and, and it's not what some may think. It's not to fill the church. It's not to have a big Easter crowd to brag on. It's because we love this community. And, and this Jesus that we have encountered and we have experienced and we have met ourselves, we want others to experience and encounter him. And so the church has put a lot of emphasis on Easter because that's, that's one of the Sundays that a lot of people will come to church that don't normally come to church. And, and I hope that when people do that this coming Easter Sunday, that they make that a habit, that it's not just something, because if they really experience Jesus and they find that freedom and they learn who he is, man, your life will forever be changed for the better. That's what I've experienced. I know that's what Pastor Russell's experienced. That's what all these pastors have experienced. And that's what we want our community to experience. So, you know, we're not here to just invite people to Mount Olive. We want people to find a church this weekend, go to it, and hopefully experience and encounter this Jesus that loves them. We're joined by uh, Pastor James Sears, Associate Pastor Russell Hall, Mount Olive. And uh, Russell, I, I know it's, it is. It is. It's such a special weekend. Oh, it's an incredible weekend. That's why we do what we do, because the resurrection of Jesus Christ and because he came to give us life, and not just life, but life more abundantly. And that's the whole, I mean, the climax of the Christian faith is this weekend when Jesus conquered death, hell, and the grave, and that's why we come together. It's going to be an exciting weekend for us. Uh, I know we have services at 9 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and also life groups in between there at 10 o'clock. But this Sunday, we know Easter can be a challenge sometimes of getting all the kids ready and getting everybody ready. We're going to have free breakfast provided for everybody if they'll come just to try to help out. So if you come before the 9 o'clock, there's breakfast provided outside in the parking lot and before the 11 o'clock. We'll be grilling out some sausage and bacon and biscuits and all kind of things, too. And also at the 10 o'clock hour, we will be having a, an Easter egg hunt for the children on the campus there, too. So going to make it a little bit easier for the family so they can just kind of get up and come on to church and we'll... We'll try to make it as pleasant and wonderful as it can be. And then, hey, the presence of the Lord's going to be there, and Bridget's going to be there. So, hey, what more can <laughs> well, you ask and, uh, for? Those two normally don't <laughs> coexist. So, uh, you know, I, I know the Easter egg hunts in years gone by. Gary, uh, your dad, who you fired, uh, used to uh, tell me that Bridget would come, and she didn't care. She'd come in her catcher's outfit. 
<laughs> and she would elbow the children. We had a few bloody noses trying to get to the eggs. And it's just a big embarrassment. It really is. Well, you know, she wanted that prize egg, as, yeah, as every know. other kid does. Know. You know, uh, Her and her mother would get together. All gloves come off at Easter egg hunts. <laughs> I've learned that a long time ago. And by the way, let's just be honest. Girls are much better than boys at hunting eggs. I have been left crying so many yeah. times, even last year. Even last year. <laughs> anyway, it's going to be, but it's going to be a great, great time at Mount Olive. It is going to be a great time, and, and choir is going to do a production. I'm going to share an Easter message, and uh, it's going to be a great yeah. time. And again, Steve, you know, we're here on behalf of Mount Olive, but we just encourage people. We, we love this community. Go to church somewhere this yeah. weekend. If your family members invited you, go with them. If a friend's invited you, go with them. If you don't have anywhere, we're inviting you to come to Mount Olive. We'd love to have you. And I know your website probably has all of the information. Is that Absolutely. Right? It's mountolivecog.org, and you can check that out as well as our social media has a lot of information on it as well. James Sears, Russell Hall, Mount Olive Ministries. Guys, uh, thanks so much. And and I did think it was nice of Brian, Brian Shaw. Still with you? Is that He's right? still with us, He's yeah. guy. Uh, he told Bridget the service would be Monday, Thursday. So uh, he said, okay. hey, yeah. just don't worry about Easter, Bridget. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Are you doing a solo? Oh. You're doing a lot of practicing over there. I know that. You guys just practice. We are, yes. Yeah, well, God ready. love you. I hope it goes well. Okay. <laughs> it is now. It's uh, 15 after the hour. Back in a second. Mark Shepard, Shelter Insurance, 2334 Key Street, Cleveland. Call 423-339-8777. All right, our obituary program brought to you by Pool Funeral Home and Cremation Services. Gary D. Stevenson, age 82, of Cleveland, passed away on Monday. Uh, the uh, arrangements by the Pool Funeral Home and Cremation Service, they'll receive friends uh, Wednesday uh, from 4 to 7 at the Pool Funeral Home and Cremation Services of Cleveland. For Gary D. Stevenson, age 82, of Cleveland, who passed away on Monday. This report is sponsored by Pool Funeral Home and Cremation Services of Cleveland. Visit pfhcleveland.com. All right, good morning. Let's get a check of traffic here. This Don Ledford Cleveland Mixed Highway Patrol report is brought to you by Don Ledford and Cleveland. They are your exclusive home of Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC, located on North Lee Highway and anytime at donledford.com. Crews are still working to clear up that accident on Georgetown Road at Sunset Avenue. That was a crash with injuries that happened earlier this morning, so be aware of that. If you see a traffic problem, give us a call. The Volunteer Rita Pest Mix Line is 614-6499. You can also text us at that same number. This traffic report is brought to you by the Cleveland Family YMCA. They're hosting an underwater Easter egg hunt this Saturday, March 30th. Just $10 for members, $15 for non-members. Space is limited, so you can stop by the Y or give them a call to get registered. That's at the Cleveland Family YMCA. We'll check your Mermaid Mattress Weather Center forecast coming up. All right, Brooke, so tell me, why did you choose Auto Square? Um, we were just Peyton Southeastern in Cleveland is hiring case selectors. Starting pay at $19 an hour. Earning potential up to $23 an hour plus incentive pay. Additional $2 an hour night shift premium. And you're eligible to earn a $3,000 stay bonus. Flexible schedules and great benefits at Peyton Southeastern in Cleveland. They have open interviews Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday from 9 to 11 a.m. and from 1 to 3 p.m. PM. Apply online at job.kroger.com to work at Peyton Southeastern in Cleveland. Choosing the right health care plan for you and your family can be overwhelming. Direct Primary Care Associates' new pharmacy benefits is the best choice for you and your family. With personalized attention, convenient telemedicine options, and free generic medications, Direct Primary Care Associates' pharmacy benefits offers everything you need to keep you and your family healthy and happy. Say goodbye to long wait times, rushed appointments, and unexpected medical bills. Visit our website to learn more about how Direct Primary Care Associates can provide the best health care experience for you and your family. Direct Primary Care Associates, affordable health care for all. Mayfield Dairy, celebrating 100 years of the iconic Mayfield ice cream at MayfieldDairy.com, proudly headquartered in Athens, Tennessee. Dad, are these numbers right? Our factory's been overproducing mattresses for most of the year. The boys were on a heater and I just let them cook. What? Yeah, well when you have a crew of craftsmen like we do, you just gotta let them go. 
Well, I guess there's one thing to do. We'll have the biggest inventory clearance sale in our 44 year history. Yep, we'll just mark everything down. But people better hurry because at these prices, they won't last long. And it's only at Mermaid Mattress. Your sleep handmade, hand delivered. Welcome to Mountain View Nissan Country, where automotive excellence is our top priority. At Mountain View Nissan, we take pride in offering you the finest selection of vehicles, perfectly suited for your adventurous spirit. From powerful SUVs ready to conquer any terrain to your everyday gas-friendly commuters, we have the perfect vehicle to match your lifestyle. This is Mountain View Nissan Country, where automotive dreams become reality. Visit one of our three locations in Dalton, Chattanooga, and Cleveland today and let us take your driving experience to new peaks. Did you know that drinking and driving is a leading cause of traffic fatalities? It kills more than 28 people in the United States every day. That means one person every 52 minutes. Statistically, young people are the most at risk to drink and drive, but not everyone's doing it. Don't drink and drive. When most people think of plumbing and electrical supply houses, there's an idea that they're just for plumbers or electricians or builders to shop at. Wholesale Supply is proud to be open to the public and proud to serve our communities. By supplying the best quality products for the best prices with the best service guaranteed, Wholesale Supply is your one-stop shop for everything plumbing, electrical, and HVAC. To find a location near you, visit wholesalesupply.us for more. Helping build communities in the Southeast for over 80 years is just what we do. And this from Roger Pickett. Thank you to all the families that have and continue to purchase all your mattress needs from locally owned Mermaid Mattress. Keeping your dollars local is important, and so is buying from a family, not a firm. All right, for today, we'll have rain throughout the day, a high of 66, mainly clear skies for this evening with a low of 45. For tomorrow, partly cloudy, a high of 67 and a low of 43. Partly cloudy on Thursday as well with a high of 64. Your current Milligan Vane temperature is 56 degrees. This weather forecast is brought to you by Bradley Concrete and Lamcon Ready Mix. Family owned business serving Cleveland for over 40 years. Call them at 423-479-4541 or visit lamcon.us to find out more. It is uh, Refine Looks Plastic Surgery and the Hayes Hand Center. And our friends, uh, Dr. Brzezinski and Dr. Reem, uh, did I say that right? That's, That's right. right. Close. Yeah. Uh, yeah it. Uh, it. Really it. Reem's easier than mine. <laughs> well, hey, you know. Guys, good morning. How are you? Good morning. Good. How are you? It's great to be back. We're, we're, uh, it's great to have you, and uh, thank you for coming back. And uh, Dr. Brzezinski, I'll begin with you because, uh, look, you guys have taken this community by storm. You, a lot of people are enjoying the convenience of just coming to see you right here on Paul Huff. Yeah, we thought, we, well, we, we've been serving Cleveland for ever since I've been in practice yeah. for 28 years. Yeah. So well, time was ripe to get an office actually here. We got a great new building. Um, we have a med spa that's associated with it. Everything that, uh, everything plastic surgery, including hand surgery, which is plastic surgery, that Cleveland would uh, uh, need to have. Dr. Rehm, uh, again, uh, it was uh, so wonderful to, to welcome you guys. So Give us the very latest. How are things going, and, and what, what would you tell the public this morning? Uh, things are going real well with the office up here. It, it's getting uh, more busy uh, every day. We've got uh, eight doctors in our group, and, and all of us come up here and spend some time. Um, we've uh, been working with uh, amongst the doctors to make and develop the relationships with the other uh, docs in town and, and providers to uh, uh, let them know that we're here. And as you mentioned, the convenience factor, we we we, try, we we came up here because we we were taking care of so many people in, in this area, and to uh, to save the trip down uh, town, and then also just to have a close relationship with the with the providers that are up here has been been really developing and and making good progress. 
Uh, we're joined, uh, uh, of course, by the Hayes Hand Center and uh, Refined Looks Plastic Surgeon, the Hayes Hand Center. Hayes Hand Center, I want to talk about that for just a second. What a legendary practice where you have literally the whole practice. We changed. got to work with the legend, too. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> guess you did. Collie Hayes, yeah. yeah. Tell, mm -hmm. tell us about him for a second, would you? Uh, he uh, was a force to be reckoned with, one of the first plastic surgeons in the United States to limit his hand in practice to entirely hands. He would sit in the emergency rooms in Chattanooga and wait for hand surgery to come in to elevate the whole craft, and he did. And and now there are, what, five of us that yeah. are five, and, uh, five and, uh, hand surgeons. And entire hand therapy department that was mm -hmm. really important to, to Dr. Hayes, uh, you know, in hand surgery, uh, there's, there's, there's so much that the, that the surgeon can do and the patient, but the hand therapy afterwards is very, very important. And, uh, Dr. Hayes was always big on the hand therapy and we've got a hand therapy department, uh, in our group in the Hayes hand center to take care of the patients after surgery or after injury. Mm -hmm. I have, I have actually talked to some doctors who, who practice now who came to the Hayes hand center years and years ago. And, and saved their entire practice. I mean, but not only doctors, but also all kinds of people over the years. An amazing, amazing story that is. Uh, Dr. Brzezinski, anything you want to add here uh, before we go? Well, I'm, I'm, most of my practice is uh, breast care. So we brought, you know, when I come up here, I do mostly breast reconstruction. So breast reconstruction has now been clo brought closer to um, um, uh, the people of Cleveland. So e even if you have your mastectomy or whatever you have in Chattanooga, the great majority of your follow-up is here so that you don't have to brave the, you know, <laughs> traffic interest yep. on the yep. way to uh, Chattanooga. Absolutely. And I, and I do know several uh, uh, of that, that category of patients here in Cleveland that are so happy to have you guys here. Dr. Reem, uh, tell me uh, any uh, any final comments from you this morning. Not, said, uh, not overall final. Yeah, just, just a, for uh, now. Yeah, sure. Just a reminder um, that uh, we have the medical spa you know, next yes. door to our office in the same building, which is non-surgical aesthetics, uh, facials, laser hair removal, tattoo, all that kind of thing. Um, so um, that, that's uh, right there on the, on the corner of Paul Huff and the interstate as well. It's all uh, together. And like you talked about, your, uh, your new building and a very convenient location. So uh, it's all right there for everyone. It's uh, Refined Looks, Plastic Surgery, and the Hayes Hand Center, Paula Parkway. And I know you guys have a website and that sort of thing. Is that right? Yes. Yep. Refined yes. Looks, Plastic Surgery, and Refined Looks Spa. All right. Right there. Look them up. Also, all of their social media. Got a great team over there, too. Yeah. We met them several times. You really do. You've attracted a lot of good people over there. Yeah, yeah thank great you. Great folks. Very good. Thank you both Thanks. very much. The doctors uh, from uh, Refined Looks Plastic Surgery, Dr. Brzezinski, Dr. Reem, uh, Dr., doctor, 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 like us. <laughs> <laughs> We're back in, in uh, just a second. This news update is brought to you by Newlywed Foods. Newlywed Foods. Attention shoppers, don't forget to ask our certified butchers for great recipe tips. This is an authentic butcher shop where meat is hand cut in store, Good beef job. is ground fresh daily, and expert advice from a certified butcher is always free of charge. <laughs> free advice? That's what I call value. The quality I crave, the value I count on. Nobody does food like Food City. And, uh, Pastor Mickey Clark, uh, you can uh, register till 9 o'clock. Call or text. Uh, we're giving away a like I said, a honey baked ham every day this week. Call or text 423 614 6499. Call the volunteer Red Pest Mix line or text that same number uh, to get registered. And uh, you can do that. Thanks again, uh, Mickey Clark, Crossroads uh, Community Church. You can visit crossroadscommunitychurch.com and see their entire Easter schedule. And uh, let's go back over to you, Bridget, uh, checking the streets here. Okay, this Don Ledford Cleveland Mix Highway Patrol report is brought to you by Don Ledford in Cleveland. They are your exclusive home of Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC, located on North Lee Highway and anytime at DonLedford.com. Looks like that accident on Georgetown Road has now been cleaned up and is out of the way. Drive safely out there. We do have some rain in the area. If you see a traffic problem, give us a call. The volunteer Red Pest Mix line is 614-6499. You can also text us at that same number. This half hour mix warnings brought to you by Southern Body Reform. No diet, no exercise, just results at uh, Southern Body Reform. Mention uh, Mix 1041, get your first month 
half off. That's $149. Call 889-0441, 889-0441, Southern Body Reform, or go to southernbodyreform.com. And uh, this is a part of Cleveland Non-Surgical and Dr. Mark Lee. The Town Squire is your complete men. Attention shoppers, don't forget to ask our... Our legal system is complex, and your case may impact several areas of the law. Don't just hire a lawyer who focuses on one thing. Hire a team of experienced attorneys ready to handle your case wherever it may lead. Call Logan Thompson, one of the area's most respected law firms. From personal injury to criminal and family law, from contract disputes to disability, the team at Logan Thompson will work together to ensure you are well represented and well compensated. Logan Thompson, we fight to win. My dad says our new Linux system saves energy. Well, saving energy means saving money. A lot of money? Yep. Time for a raise in my allowance. Savings year after year. A big raise. Call today for perfect air you can feel in your home and savings you can feel in your wallet. Linux. Air is life. Make it perfect. Call Dale's Heating and Air today. Everyone there at the Porsche dealership are so personable and very knowledgeable that we just keep coming back. What I was looking for was a sport utility that was sporty and attractive and had the ability to perform to my expectations. The service department goes above and beyond with their routine service maintenance and they get me out of there quickly. Chattanooga Auto Square. Luxury lives here. For 20 years, Best Buy Metals has provided permanent steel roofing. Additionally, we've expanded to manufacture metal siding, including steel, board and batten, and traditional lap siding. We also offer custom pole barns, from a simple roof-only structure to a fully enclosed building. Stop by one of our seven showrooms today or visit us online 24-7 at bestbymetalroof.com. Shopping for a great deal on a car or truck? Know this. Cleveland Ford is loaded with vehicles, over 230 in stock. All part, they have partnered with Cinnabon to bring a new morning delight to breakfast menus nationwide. The Cinnabon Pull Apart is available now at Wendy's. It's in celebration of their four-year breakfast anniversary. That, again, that is available now at Wendy's. Go inside the Mermaid Mattress Weather Center. In a time where private label brands are becoming more popular because of inflation, it's time to consider choosing your next mattress direct from the factory at locally owned and manufactured Mermaid Mattress, where you'll get a better mattress at a better price, guaranteed. All right, for today, we'll have rain throughout the day, a high of 66 and a low of 45 this evening with mostly clear skies tonight. For tomorrow, partly cloudy, a high of 67 and a low of 43. Partly cloudy on Thursday with a high of 64. Your current Milligan vein temperature is 56 degrees. This Mix 1041 Weathercast is sponsored by Life Care Center of Cleveland, celebrating more than 45 years of serving the needs of the aging community. Life Care Center of Cleveland. Mix 1041 Sports. It's the CHI Memorial Sports Desk. CHI Memorial, hello, human kindness. And last night, uh, the NCAA Women's uh, Basketball Tournament, NC State, ended the UT Lady Vols season. Uh, beat them, uh, uh, NC State over the Lady Vols, 79-72, and that was played in Raleigh, North Carolina. So NC State had that as a, a home game last night. So uh, the Lady uh, Wolf Pack move on. Lady Vols are done for the year. Iowa and Caitlin Clark now. They had a, a close matchup with uh, West Virginia last night, but uh, Iowa wins it 64-54. Caitlin Clark and the Lady Hawkeyes to the Sweet 16. UConn advanced to their 30th straight Sweet 16 with uh, Coach Ariyama. The Atlanta Hawks came back from down 30 last night uh, to defeat the... Uh, to defeat the Boston Celtics 120 to 118. Joy Otani spoke out for the first time since his interpreter is alleged to have stolen 
money from him. The situation being investigated. He said he never bet on sports or knowingly paid uh, his interpreter's gambling debts. And uh, by the way, Shoy Otani blaming one man for his problems, Richie Hughes. He, uh, he is implicating, uh, Re- oh, he's, sorry, he's getting a picture. Uh, Richie, uh, who's used to getting pictures in the lineup. <laughs> Richie, uh, how do you respond to Shoy's uh, accusations? I, guess? I, I just want him to tithe off of his winnings if he would tithe <laughs> to our church. It's, East, you know, it's Easter resurrection season. We, we just, I don't care how he spends his money as long as he tithes off his income. He, he makes pretty good money in L.A. Well, yeah, $700 million, so Pretty good uh, money. Be a, uh, with the, of course, with Bridget's tithes, that'd be $7. So, mm. uh, you know, whatever. Uh, let me uh, uh, quickly tell you, in uh, high school baseball last night, Walker Valley over Ultawa 9-6. Bradley beat McMinn County 3-2. to And uh, also in softball, Walker Valley shut out Knoxville Clinton 4 to nothing. So uh, there is sports. Coming back, we're going to take a quick break here. Then we'll talk about uh, our friends right here in just a moment. Stand by. For more than 40 years. This Medical Minute is brought to you by the Vascular Institute, your regional leaders in vascular care. March is DVT Awareness Month. Deep vein thrombosis is a serious medical condition characterized by the formation of blood clots within deep veins, typically in the legs. Although it may not always present noticeable symptoms, DVT can lead to severe complications if left untreated. If a blood clot breaks loose from the vein and travels to the lungs, it can cause a life-threatening condition known as pulmonary embolism. Know the signs. DVT can be silent but dangerous. Don't ignore persistent leg discomfort, leg swelling, pain, warmth, or redness in your legs. Symptoms of PE include sudden shortness of breath, chest pain, rapid heart rate, and coughing up blood. If you suspect you have symptoms of DVT, seek medical evaluation promptly. The Vascular Institute is the only vascular practice welcoming self-referrals, offering timely appointments, and accepting new patients. Vascular Institute offers five convenient locations Find out more at vascularinstituteofchattanooga.com. Shopping for a great deal on a car or truck? Know this. Cleveland Ford is loaded with vehicles, over 230 in stock, all discounted. I'm talking saving up to $7,500 on new F-Series trucks and Mustang Mach-E. We have financing as low as 0% on Edge and 1.9% for 72 months on new F-150s. And as always, you get a lifetime powertrain warranty and complimentary service when you buy from us. So hurry to Cleveland Ford today because this sale ends soon or shop us at clevelandford.com. Mayfield Dairy, celebrating 100 years of the iconic Mayfield ice cream at MayfieldDairy.com, proudly headquartered in Athens, Tennessee. Bender Realty is proud to have three agents who've been in real estate for over 40 years. The experts at Bender Realty don't just live here, they volunteer and contribute to the community in our area. Our involvement in the community of who being able to uh, reach out to, whether it's City planner, county planner, economic development committee to get, help you bring new businesses into the Cleveland area. We're, we're all in, involved and we're able to keep up with what's going on and what's coming in Cleveland. If you're looking to buy, sell, lease, or rent, trust your friends at Bender Realty. 472-2173. Bender-Realty.com. Be home with Bender Realty. The goodness of Hardy's 2 for $5 wraps just got better. Now choose two wraps for breakfast or two hand-breaded chicken wraps for lunch or dinner. Morning to night, get two wraps, $5. Hardee's, goodness in the making. Hi, I'm Brian Poole, sole owner of Poole Serenity Funeral Home and Cremation Services of Cleveland. It's going to be more of our uh, discount funeral home and cremation center. We'll offer $895 cremation that will come with a wood urn. Only other charges the family have be for death certificates and permits. That's it. No other hidden charges, no other hidden fees. We have a traditional burial package, $4,595. That does include a casket and the services. You can reach us at www.pfhserenity.com. Mix Mornings on Mix TV is Southeast Tennessee's best way to stay informed. He's with Dick Cheney in the secure bunker this morning. Good morning, <laughs> Pastor Wallace. How are you? <laughs> Steve, that's hilarious. I'm good, sir. How are you doing today? Buddy, I'm doing great. And uh, you know what? Isn't it, isn't it a wonderful, wonderful week? It is a wonderful week. It's uh, We call it Holy Week. It is uh, perhaps for the... For the church, the most important week as we celebrate all that it means to us and it means to people in our community, and uh, we do our best to take advantage of uh, 
what this season means and represents to bring hope to so many, and that's that that uh, there is hope. No matter where you are in life, there's hope. And uh, if you have that confidence, man, it sure makes it an amazing opportunity to minister to a lot of people because the world needs a lot of hope right now. And so we're grateful for this uh, for this week and for all the opportunities we have to spread the good news. Richie, uh, RT Tiana is coming. Really just joined in with our community so beautifully. And uh, uh, I know that this week and this weekend is a great example of that. Yeah, we're so excited. I, our staff, we talk a lot about the vision of Pastor Kevin and being the most loving church in the world. And I think it's a, something we've adopted that it's a place where people can come and, and belong to something before they become what they want to be. And <clears throat> it's a situation where we have a church that's open to all people. And this is the, the number one week of church attendance for people that, that don't know Jesus or that are they're most open during this season. I heard James Sears talking earlier who I love, just saw Kelvin Page out in the lobby. You know, we're all trying to accomplish the same thing. We're trying to populate heaven. We don't want anybody to go to hell. And I think in this season, people are more receptive because they understand, even if they're not a person of faith right now in their walk, they understand what Jesus' death and resurrection meant. Yeah, absolutely. We're also joined by the uh, campus pastor, uh, Chris. Uh, Chris uh, Horvath. Yes, sir. Chris, great to see you again. Great to see you too, Steve. It's well, great to be here. Tell me what the, uh, uh, as far as what's going to be happening uh, specifically uh, this week and weekend at RTTN here in Cleveland. Well, this week we're just going to be celebrating the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Uh, like uh, Pastor Richie has said, uh, this is a day where... Uh, opportunity. It's a day of opportunity where people who normally don't darken the doorway of a church will be there, uh, whether it be for family, for their mothers, their fathers, or or uh, just, you know, grandparents are there to see their grandbabies uh, in, in, in doing Easter productions. It's just an opportunity for us to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. And as Pastor Kevin uh, our Bishop has said, uh, it's a time uh, of, of celebrating Jesus uh, and sharing him with those who normally would not show up to church so pastor wallace is on the phone with us hey pastor if someone asks you what does easter mean to you what what does easter mean to you well you know i tell my team all the time and it's not a semantic thing i i i call it resurrection sunday i don't mind calling it easter but it it, it reminds me steve of this that when when life is at the worst, when it looks like there is no hope, when it looks like it's over, God still has the final word and the last say. And, you know, there's a lot of people looking for a hope. They're looking for new beginnings. They're looking for life after what feels like a death that they went through. And I just really believe there's only one person who can do that. And it is the person who stared death right in the eye, and he conquered it. And because he lives, we live also. And it's the good news of the gospel. And that's what we're going to tell people on Sunday, by the way. I'm, I'm going to preach a message. Uh, you know, there was a famous writer. Uh, Steve, I imagine you probably sang this song in high school. You maybe, maybe even danced to it at the high school dance. Mm. But Stevie Wonder wrote a song and Rufus made it very famous. It's called Tell Me Something Good. Mm. And, you, you, you know, I think the world is crying out for that. Tell me something good. We've Everywhere we flip, there's, there's bad news. I just saw this morning a bridge in Baltimore collapsed. A boat hit a bridge. It's just another layer of of the pain of, 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 of the world we live in. And people want to know some good news. And I called and... I commissioned our team yesterday, even in a team meeting. We are on the planet to shift the narrative and point toward Jesus, give him the glory, and tell the good news. The gospel is not bad news. The gospel is not condemning news. The gospel is good news. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to tell the good news. Pastor uh, Kevin Wallace, you know, I didn't dance, though, when I was at league. I had way too many demerits. So, uh, you know. (laughs) So anyway, it was only a Cleveland. That's a picture I can't get out of my head right now. The, the, the fact that you, there's any reference to Steve Hartline dancing is just an abomination. 
<laughs> You're an abomination. <laughs> hey, uh, we, we, hey uh, Chris, I do want to talk, though, uh, past Easter. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're teaming up with the Bradley County Sheriff's Department for a yes. very special event. Absolutely. Uh, I think that it's a great way to bring unity to the community, and we're going to be partnering with the Bradley County Sheriff's Department to do a Kids First event, it's called. Uh, and it's a car seat safety event, but uh, there's going to be so much going on in the parking lot of our church. We're going to be having uh, bounce houses. The fire department's going to be there. Uh, there's going to be, you know, different things that they bring, different booths set up. Uh, there's going to be face painting and uh, wax hand dipping for the kids and all kinds of really neat things. But it's all, and also a chili cook off uh, that we're going to have. Oh, and we're, we're going to judge a chili cook off uh, between first responders. So the sheriff's department, EMTs, the, uh, the sheriff's department, where it, it's going to be great. Fire to, firefighters is going to be an amazing day that day. But it's going to be April 6th uh, from 10 to 3 p.m. Uh, in in our parking lot. And uh, Chris, how can people get all the information about what's happening at RTTN? Uh, You can go ahead and go on our website, uh, rttnchurch.com, or you can go ahead and like our Instagram page or our Facebook page uh, and uh, find out more about that RTTN Cleveland on Instagram. Hey, uh, Pastor Wallace, uh, anything you'd like to add here before we go? No, I'm grateful for Pastor Chris and the entire Cleveland team, Pastor Richie and all the investment they put into make, <clears throat> making the day special. P- come and join us. We're going to have pictures with the family. We're going to have the kids' church going to be amazing. Uh, always something going on at Redemption to the Nations, Cleveland. And uh, listen, we know Cleveland is, has some amazing churches, incredible leaders and pastors, and we're partnering with all of them. If you're looking for a place to come and join, you haven't found that place yet, come, come hang out with us. This Resurrection Sunday, you're going. I believe you're going to hear the good news, and I believe hope is going to rise in all of our hearts. It's that season, and that's why Jesus came, and I can't can't wait to see what he does in lives. Amen. Uh, Pastor Wallace, thank you very much. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Yes, sir. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Richie, uh, Richie Hughes will give you the final, final word here, and uh, anything you'd like to add. On a serious note, I, I think <clears throat> it was mentioned earlier that you know, the, the Christian life is the abundant life. It's the joy of the Lord that we have. And I think in this season, people being receptive and open to a deeper walk with Jesus, more intimacy with Jesus. But I, I think it's one of those things that if we can all get together and promote uh, each other as churches for the community and, and try to, to try to win the lost and try to teach people that, you know, I, I talk to people all the time and they say, yeah, I went to church camp when I was seven or I went to vac- vacation Bible school back in the day, even at, at your grandfather's church, um, and I received Christ, but, you know, I've drifted away. This is a time to rededicate lives and, and find the joy of the Lord, the abundant life that James Sears was talking about earlier is something that is available to all people. So basically what you're saying is that if you were saved under the ministry of Reverend Emmy Littlefield, it is not valid. <laughs> so you've basically thrown my papa, who's in heaven this morning, under the bus. Anything you'd like to say to that, Well, Richard? I think that the 99% that were saved under Emmy Littlefield uh, are, are okay. <laughs> I think it's that one, that one that is astray, that is still astray. Hey, hey. <laughs> I'm talking about my mom right that now. That is still What's astray. Wrong with you, Richie? And it's What's still not only astray, but it's struggling. <laughs> I mean, it, it is a struggle. Steve Hartline, it's a struggle to be Steve Hartline. Where is Dale and Brenda Hughes when we need <laughs> Richie and Chris, God bless you guys. We love RTTN, and, and seriously, you guys are making such an impact here. So Thank congratulations. You. Thank you. Bless you. We, we appreciate you. the time. Thank you, Bridget. We appreciate yeah, all whatever. that you guys do for the time community. Get out. Stop us. And, uh, for, and, and for don't, per- don't 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 check my bracket. Just by the oh, I, yeah. oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I am incognito on the bracket, oh, yeah. so you don't know what my bracket is. But just just know this: that I picked Auburn. I pick, I, I'm in. I'm in. Trouble. Oh, everybody, we're I'm, all. Who's your champion? Tennessee. Though? I did pick Tennessee, so I do have Tennessee still. But but man, I got hammered that first day. Well, <laughs> and, and also on the bracket. So and no. I got, oh hey 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 hey. All right, we're ba- well, That's I mean, you're, you're still struggling. You're, 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 can you're, we can we reach out to the, the community of Cleveland? Stretch, <laughs> stretch your hand toward the radio right now, Lord in Jesus' uh, name. Uh, we need you to touch Steve Hartline's. Wow, heart. your mic just went off. I can't believe it. Pray for me. She said, "Pray for Bridget." She's got the work of Steve Hartless. I mean, Hartline. Oh gosh. <laughs> Thank you.
there are a lot of banks. So what makes Southern Heritage Bank unique? It's our commitment to being unbelievably good as we identify and meet your needs. Stop by one of our five locations in Cleveland or Chattanooga and let us show you the difference our customers have come to expect. We strive to offer the latest banking technology, mobile wallet, online account opening, mobile banking with bill pay, and ATMs that allow cash or check deposit. All available 24-7 with a local community bank. Southern Heritage Bank, a division of First Citizens National Bank, member FDIC. Hardy's Philly cheesesteak favorites are back. Handcrafted creations with sautéed peppers, onions, and melty cheese to reinvent the signature Philly classics from sunrise to supper time. Parties, goodness in the making. Mayfield Dairy, celebrating 100 years of the iconic Mayfield ice cream at MayfieldDairy.com. Proudly headquartered in Athens, Tennessee. Dad, are these numbers right? Our factory's been overproducing mattresses for most of the year. The boys were on a heater and I just let them cook. What? Yeah, well when you have a crew of craftsmen like we do, you just gotta let them go. Well, I guess there's one thing to do. Right now at Mermaid Mattress, get Tempur-Pedic, the most highly recommended mattress in America, starting at only 41 cents a night. But people better hurry because at these prices, they won't last long. And it's only at Mermaid Mattress. Your sleep handmade, hand delivered. Welcome to Mountain View Nissan Country, where automotive excellence is our top priority. At Mountain View Nissan, we take pride in offering you the finest selection of vehicles, perfectly suited for your adventurous spirit. From powerful SUVs ready to conquer any terrain to your everyday gas-friendly commuters, we have the perfect vehicle to match your lifestyle. This is Mountain View Nissan Country, where automotive dreams become reality. Visit one of our three locations in Dalton, Chattanooga, and Cleveland today and let us take your driving experience to new peaks. When most people think of plumbing and electrical supply houses, there's an idea that they're just for plumbers or electricians or builders to shop at. Wholesale Supply is proud to be open to the public and proud to serve our communities. By supplying the best quality products for the best prices with the best service guaranteed, Wholesale Supply is your one-stop shop for everything plumbing, electrical, and HVAC. To find a location near you, visit wholesalesupply.us for more. Helping build communities in the Southeast for over 80 years is just what we do. Save a bundle at Eller and Owens Furniture and Mattress. Furniture, mattresses, and decor. The more you buy, the more you save. Up to 40% off. Create a bundle, a sofa and chairs, end tables, a recliner, lamps and rugs, an entire room. Up to 40% off. Create a custom bundle and watch the savings grow. Up to 40% off. Look for Take Me Home Today tags. Bundle in stock items. Special financing is available. Bundle and save at Eller and Owens Furniture and Mattress. Colin Johnson is 11 today. That is from her grandmother. Call in your birthdays and wedding anniversaries to us. We'll take those on the Volunteer Ridipest Mix Line, 614-6499. You can also text us at that same number. Go to our website, mymix1041.com, or download our free Mix1041 app. It's the Simmons Bank Celebration List. At Simmons Bank, they've been helping their customers make their dreams come true since 1903. Call Jamie Kyle, 423-381-3429. Crawford Pharmacy takes the best of a local pharmacy with people that know you and care about your situation and combines that with the latest in medical testing as well as consultation. You need money overnight, check into cash. Your time is tight. Dot com. Bank accounts too low, check into cash. So where do you go? Dot com. Do it online in a record time. It's the easy way to get money next day. Do a quick click from home at check into cash. Dot com. You can be sure it's secure from our bank straight to yours. Do a quick click from home at check into cash. Dot com. Boom, boom. Paula, tell us about how you came to shop at Chattanooga Auto Square. Well, I was introduced to it from my husband. He purchased his first Range Rover years ago. And then occasionally I'd start asking him if I could start driving it. 
I would confidently recommend them. I mean, they make you feel like family from the moment you arrive. Being in real estate for like 34 years, you really come to value and appreciate the level of service that Range Rover gives you. Chattanooga Auto Square, luxury lives here. Peyton Southeastern in Cleveland is hiring case selectors. Starting pay at $19 an hour. Earning potential up to $23 an hour plus incentive pay. Additional $2 an hour night shift premium. And you're eligible to earn a $3,000 stay bonus. Flexible schedules and great benefits at Peyton Southeastern in Cleveland. They have open interviews Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday from 9 to 11 a.m. and from 1 to 3 p.m. Apply online at jobs.kroger.com to work at Peyton Southeastern in Cleveland. You're watching Mix Mornings on Mix TV. Here is your current Kia of Cleveland time. And your current temperature in Cleveland is brought to you by Milligan Vane. The events uh, plus Good Friday and Easter Sunday go to crossroadscommunitychurch.com. You can see uh, the full lineup of what's happening there. As uh, Mickey says, community is the middle name of Crossroads Community Church. They're giving away a honey-baked ham every day this week. Uh, Bridget, how can people get registered? They've got a few minutes this morning. Come back and do it again this afternoon. That's right. You can call or text us, 614-6499. Again, our number is 614-6499. Call or text us if you'd like to get in on that honey-baked ham giveaway from our friends at Crossroads Community Church. Don't forget our March Madness coverage is presented by Quantum Sports right here in Cleveland, your card collecting and memorabilia headquarters. Quantum Sports, Mark Stewart, his team, Key Street and the Cooks Plaza, or you can go online and see their entire inventory, qsportsgroup.com, qsportsgroup.com. That's Quantum Sports in the uh, Cooks Plaza, now Cleveland's new memorabilia and uh, sports uh, card headquarters. Our final next morning's check of our Mermaid Mattress Weather Center. Posh and Lavish is an all-natural latex and wool line of mattresses sold exclusively by Mermaid Mattress. Come take a test rest and you'll receive a free latex pillow, but only at Mermaid Mattress. For today, we'll have rain throughout the day, a high of 63. We'll have a few clouds this evening with a low of 44. For tomorrow, partly cloudy, a high of 66 and a low of 42. And then partly cloudy again on Thursday with a high of 64. Your current Milligan Main temperature is 56 degrees. This weather forecast is brought to you by M&M Construction. Locally owned, specializing in all varieties of construction. Call Andy at M&M Construction, 423-284-0487. Broadcasting from the Kia of Cleveland Studios, this is Mix 1041 WCLE, Calhoun, Cleveland, Athens. Download the free Mix 1041 app at mymix1041.com. The top of the hour is presented by Best Buy Metals, making sure the top of your house is the best it can be. BestBuyMetalRoofing.com. Commercials off. I'm over Start the music. This is Mix 1041. Good morning. Today is a storm alert weather day, particularly right now through your midday hours. There's two different factors I want to talk to you about. So this time I'm going to start off with the wind. We are getting wind gusts. It started to be really gusty during the overnight hours. I know some of you might have woken up because you heard things kind of falling around outside, maybe some branches up against your window, and that wind is going to be with us through midday. So when we talk about specific end times to the wind advisories, our far western communities uh, is going to be ending a little bit earlier. Earlier. So Northeast Alabama, DeKalb, Jackson counties and Grundy and Van Buren counties in Tennessee, your wind advisories end at 7 a.m. Central time. The rest of our area, so Georgia, the rest of Tennessee into Cherokee County lasts through the midday hours, so it doesn't end until 2 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, what we're talking about for those wind concerns then are sustained wind at 15 to 30 miles per hour. The potential for gusts up to 45 to 50 miles per hour. Now, most likely the gusts that you're going to experience 
experience and already have experienced through the nighttime hours are at 20 to 40 miles per hour. Don't forget, I talked about this yesterday, high wind warning in southeastern Monroe County. That goes all the way up into the Smoky Mountains, gusts up to 80 miles per hour in those tallest mountain peaks. So that's concern number one is the wind. Concern number two is the rain. Now we are not expecting any kind of severe storm, so I can assure you with that you don't have to worry about severe thunderstorm warnings, tornado warnings, but roads are going to be wet this morning. Pair that with the gusty wind, the low visibility with active rainfall. We want you to just take it slow and be safe for your morning time drive. Rain continues to expand across our area, moving from west to east. We've seen kind of that one line fizzle out a little bit, uh, but we certainly have individual pockets of all of these heavy downpours showing up in the red from Athens down towards south of Dalton throughout Dade County, especially into DeKalb County in Alabama around Fort Payne, along with some lightning strikes. So we kind of zoom in a little bit in the metro area of Chattanooga, a slight decrease for some of you in Hamilton County, but look at this band that's in Dade County. That's going to be lifting up from the southwest to the northeast right into Hamilton County as well. Here's the big picture. Remember, we're just now getting this rain and there's extending quite beyond our area, so it's going to be with us throughout your morning time. That's the trough. There's the cold front that's going to come through this evening and really kind of clear things out. So as we look at our future cast for this morning time, continues to expand from now till 7 a.m. From about 7 a.m. to 3 o'clock in the afternoon, pretty widespread rain for everybody, including some pockets of heavy downpours, and you still had those breezy conditions from the south during the morning time. Now, the wind is going to die down a little bit once we head into the afternoon, but rain lingering slightly longer. So I think widespread again through 3 p.m. Once we get past about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, that's really going to kind of move and clear out through about 6 o'clock in the evening. And then look at that clouds clearing out as well. So we still have several hours again. Strongest wind in the morning time, rain lasting till about 3 p.m., and then rain tapering off between about 3 and 6 p.m. Total rainfall for today, about a half inch to an inch and a half across the area. As far as your allergy report goes, I can tell you at least some good news. Good air quality, mold and pollen counts, though, still in the high category. Certainly do want you to be weather aware, especially this morning, the morning time drive. You can feel that wind on your vehicle, particularly if you have a high profile vehicle, kind of wiggling it a little bit. So just be careful for that. But it will be better already by this evening and the rest of the week looking nice. 78 for Easter Sunday, y'all. Wow. So, Perfect day.